What's up you guys, Pitbull Torres here at the Rare Breed Life HQ. Today I'm gonna go over my top 10 favorite stretches. All right guys, first things first, what I always do, always start with the foam roller. You wanna get that blood, um, what's it called, activated so your body can actually stretch and loosen up. So I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite things I do to warm up my hips and my back. You're gonna get the foam roller, put on your lower back, and with your feet, widen out your base, lean back, and from here you're gonna drop your knees in, Right here, left to right. What's it doing is opening up your hips right here to your back. Just getting that motion in there. Like how, this, how I like to say stretching um, is like motion is lotion. So the more you put your body through that motion, it's gonna actually warm up a lot better than it is just doing like a static stretch, which is just holding the stretch. So do this for about 15, 30 seconds. Really open up your hips. Start. All right, second, I'm gonna roll out my quads on the foam roller. I know this probably like everyone says foam roll, foam roll, but I'm telling you guys, I've hurt myself tons of times and it's obviously just because my muscles are tight and I'm not rolling out because it's just boring. So really take it serious, learn from my mistakes. So you want to start from the bottom of your knee right here in your IT band, all the way up to your hip. All the way up to your knee, to your hip. Like I said, foam rolling is probably the biggest advice I could give you guys doing before you train and after. Another quick little tip, if you have really tight quads, um, like I said, right here, watch this left leg, which someone told me tight quads is like a flat tire on your car. If you have a flat tire on your car, you're not gonna go nowhere. So same thing with muscles are tight. So what I'm gonna do, it's like pumping air into your quad. So with my left quad, what I'm gonna do is pump it like this. So move it five times, two, three, four, five. Now go closer to my hip. Now find another tight spot. One, two, three, four, five. What that's doing is active releasing that quad, letting it uh, loosen up so you get that blood flow in there so you get that full activation. You wanna have tight muscles. A tight muscle is explosive muscle, but if it's too tight, you're not gonna get any explosion and then you're gonna hurt yourself. So I do five reps and I go to my hip. So that's first, always roll out your quads. Start. All right, second, I'm gonna roll out my quads on the foam roller. I know this probably like everyone says foam roll, foam roll, but I'm telling you guys, I've hurt myself tons of times and it's obviously just because my muscles are tight and I'm not rolling out because it's just boring. So really take it serious, learn from my mistakes. So you wanna start from the bottom of your knee right here in your IT band all the way up to your hip. All the way up to your knee, yes. to your hip. Yep. All right, third thing, can't forget the hamstrings. Now all you're gonna do is just sit on the foam roller, put all the pressure on that leg, roll it down to the bottom of your knee, come all the way down to like the bottom of your butt. Here, here. For this one, you can't really pump your hamstring, so all you gotta do is keep your leg relaxed, keep on putting pressure, and like I said, man, I used to like foam roller for like this, like, all right, I'm done. I'm telling you, give yourself about two to three minutes on each leg, really warming up that, your whatever muscle you're using, your hamstring or your glute. So this is key right here. All right, fourth thing, we're gonna go over ankle mobility. If you cannot squat, if you're having trouble squatting below parallel, it's not your hips, it's not, anything else what it is is your ankles people have very tight ankles so what your ankle does if you have a tight ankle and you're trying to squat deep your heels are going to come up like this because right here is too tight the front of your ankle and the back of your ankle so i'm going to show you guys how to warm that up loosen it up get some range of motion so my favorite is go on, find a foam roller put the tip of your knees on the foam roller watch my toes i'm going to flatten them out from here what i'm going to do is set all my weight back sitting on my heels and what this is doing is opening that front joint of your ankle. Just hang out here for like a minute or two, really working that front of your ankle. You can lean to one side a little bit, take more of a stretch on both of your ankles, but I just like to hang out right here. So we're gonna go over ankle mobility right now. Fifth thing for your ankles, what you're gonna do is, so we're going like this, now I want you to go like pretty much think of you had a shoe on and put like your laces down. So I'm gonna send my foot to the side right here, really working more of the side of my ankle, not just the front. Make sure you're doing both legs. So we did the front like this, but work the side. 
Having flexible ankles is super important, especially if you're an athlete. If you have tight ankles, what's gonna happen in a game, you might roll that ankle, then you sprain your ankle, and then you're gonna be out for at least three to six weeks. But if you have flexible ankles, your ankle should be able to go super sideways without getting that sprain. So the key to any, like the key to longevity is just being flexible. If you're not flexible, your likelihood of getting injured is very high. All right, another ankle mobility stretch. Like I said, we're stretching the front of the ankle. Now we're gonna try to stretch the back of the ankle. Um, also stretching your Achilles. So what you're gonna do is find a bench. What you wanna do is lean your chest forward, drive your knee forward without letting your heel come up. You'll see if I lean forward too much, my heel comes up, you're not stretching your, um, ankle, your Achilles in the back of your ankle anymore. So what you're gonna do is plant the heel, drive yourself forward, and what helps me keep my heel down is when I grab the bench, and I'm, I'm bringing myself forward but pulling myself down at the same time, getting a huge stretch on the back of my Achilles and the back of my ankle. Pretty much the more range of motion you have, the more power you're gonna develop. When those heels come up, you're, you're mainly pressing with your quads, losing a lot of power from your glutes and your hamstrings, and your glute is the biggest muscle you have, so you're losing lots of power. So if you feel your heels coming up in a squat, make sure you guys are stretching your ankles. This is probably the most neglected um, muscle people don't stretch. You're good. All right guys, next we're gonna start stretching the quads. This is my favorite quad stretch. You're gonna find a bench. All you're gonna do is put that foot on the back of the bench and drop that knee straight down. This is gonna stretch your hip flexor to your quad. Like I said, I'm gonna show you another thing what people do wrong a lot. They do this stretch and they lean forward thinking they're stretching their hip flexor. You cannot stretch your hip flexor like that. You're stretching maybe like you're growing a little bit when you lean forward. But to stretch your hip flexor, what you wanna do is, this will emphasize the stretch even more if you can find like a stick or a foam roller. With this glute, your left glute, whatever leg goes back, you wanna squeeze that glute forward and crunch your core, really opening up your hip flexor and your quad. Especially if you're working like a desk job, you're sitting down a lot, this is probably the most the best stretch you can do because tight hip flexors lead to a tight lower back and all that. All right guys, next we're gonna go into your upper body. A lot of times people would just say, get a band, go over your head and back, which is a great exercise for your shoulders to open them up. But I'm gonna go something more basic that everyone can do. Everyone's got a doorway or something they can lean into like that. It's pretty much the same stretch. So find a doorway and what you wanna do is start with your hands high, send your feet back and let your body just naturally fall forward. And like I said, before your training, you don't want to do this for too long, maybe 15, 30 seconds. But after your workouts, or if you're not working out the next day, you can hold this for as long as you want. So start from up here. I'm going to go a little bit lower. Let my body weight just lean in here. Really opening up your pecs and your shoulders. This, I really need to do this start more because I have really tight shoulders and pecs. So just keep on making your way down. You'll feel where you need to get more of a stretch. For me, it's more up top. That's where I really feel a lot of tightness in my pecs and my shoulders. Ready? All right, next we're going to go into your lats. So like I said, people can grab, normally grab like a band too, they tie it up, but if you don't have access to a band, people do this right here to stretch, to tie out your, stretch out your lats. It's funny, man. You can, you can find a way to do everything. Find a pole, whatever, a doorway from here. Grab the, grab the pole, send your hips back, and lean down, really opening up this lat. Loose lats help with a lot of things, especially your bench press. If you have really tight lats, there's no activation in your lat, so you're not gonna be able to use your lats when you're pressing. And like I said, start, just play, start high, then start going a little bit lower, sit back, and you're gonna stretch different areas. The lower I go, the more I feel it in my scapula, in my lower lat right here. Make sure you do both sides. All right guys, next, wall stretch. There's tons of stretches you can do from here. It's probably my favorite stretch to do after I'm done training because it's more of a static stretch. I can hold it for a long time, but even if I wanted to just do it before I work out, I can do it that way too. So you're, I, you're supposed to bring your butt to the wall, but I am so tight. If I bring my butt to the wall, my lower back will be up in the air. So as long as your lower back is flat to the ground, that's the safest way you're gonna stretch. So first, I'm gonna show you guys a way to stretch your abductors out. Just open up your legs and just gradually let them fall. Like I said, this stretch, I like to do more only after I work out because it's really opening up my abductors and I'm just letting it hang for at least two to three minutes. But if I'm really tight before I work out, I'll do this for at least 15 to 30 seconds. 
to really open up. And you'll feel and just see how my legs will just slowly start dropping down as time goes on. So just make sure you breathe. A lot of people stretch and they're holding their breath because it's very tight, but you're never gonna open up. Just make sure you're always breathing. All right, next stretch from here is my favorite for my glute. So I like doing the wall stretch. Put, put one foot on the wall, cross your knee, your foot over your knee, and see how my butt is in there from here. I'm gonna push my butt down and it's really gonna stretch my glute right here. This is my favorite stretch. For some reason, I just feel it stretch a lot in my glute. Instead of doing like the normal pigeon stretch to like a bench or just laying on the ground, I don't feel it in my glute as much, but when I do this wall stretch, it puts me in that perfect position. All right, now next, all I'm gonna do, this is more for stretching my, my, my glute knee and more my lower back. I'm just gonna let my legs drop to one side, really stretch it my back, keep your shoulders flat on the ground. And like, see how I'm breathing? I'm trying to tighten up, it's for relax. Relax, I feel a lot of my glute knee going into my lower back right here. If you have tight glutes, it's, it's um, your back's gonna be tight too. It's the problem, they're, they're tied in together. So tight glutes lead up to tight lower back. People think they have a lower back problem, but it's most likely their glutes are just tight. Make sure you switch sides. All right guys, I hope you guys learned a thing or two about stretching. I want you guys to comment below. Let me know what other videos you guys want me to make of. I'm gonna start dropping more little 10 minute videos just helping you guys learn a lot more. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn those post notifications on. Peace.